What's the play? What's the play? Welcome back to Fence Kane's Verbal Warning. This is episode 50. Or maybe not. But anyway, welcome back to Fence Kane's Verbal Warning. I'm your host, Big Verb, aka CL Verbal Warning on Instagram. Guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the channel when you get a chance. If you're a loyal member to the channel, I appreciate that, guys. I appreciate you staying loyal, staying down. And checking me out every time I give you a post game on the Dolphins and also the Miami Hurricanes. Today is week one, September 11, 2022. The Miami Dolphins week one versus the New England Patriots. And it was a pretty good game. I enjoyed the game. Um, you pretty pretty much can tell. I enjoyed the game. Um, my takes on the game, uh, the offense looked it pretty huh, shaky. Uh, I want to say that they're not familiar with each other. The defense looked unbelievable. And uh, the star of the game, I would say, would be the secondary of the Miami Dolphins. Um, the young kid from uh, Texas, uh, amazing, amazing ball player. Uh, if you check his story out, his dad won uh, the lottery over in his island, and he came over to the U.S., and he fell in love with football. Amazing ball player. Uh, Kanu, Kanu, I could be wrong. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Hit me up in the comment section, guys. Let me know exactly uh, where I'm wrong and help me out with that pronunciation. Uh, solid ball player. He caused a fumble uh, late in the game. Big play. Broke up a couple passes. Just present in all his assignments. Awesome ball player. Awesome ball player. Uh, the defense was the key to this game. We only scored 20 points. Seven of them came from the defense. So we got one touchdown on offense, one touchdown on defense, and the rest was special team play which is very, very uh, important when it comes to football. Um, Tua, I want to take this time out to talk about Tua, guys, and uh, we'll talk about next week's game as well. But Tua looks very unfamiliar and uh, indecisive. Uh, it was said a long time ago about Omar Kelly. Shout out to Omar Kelly. He moved on I Am Athlete. Um, he said that Tua holds on to the ball uh, most of the time. And I think that that causes us to be in, um, in a lot of, Risque plays. I think he causes uh, sack plays. He causes the offensive line to look bad. He misses reads, and he doesn't trust what he sees. Uh, I think he has a problem with trust, uh, especially with his ability, and along with what he, what he sees from the coaches and from the plays. Tyreek showed a little frustration today. Tyreek had a lot of plays. He had 94 yards, probably about seven, eight catches. He was targeted like 12 times. Uh, Jalen Waddle came out and exploded uh, with the touchdown late in the first half uh, on the fourth and seventh. On a slant play. It wasn't anything deep, but he took it for 40-plus yards. Jalen Waddle was still on track to be as explosive as he was last year. He's still dependable. Uh, I think Tyreek's going to take a bulk of the, of the targets, but Jalen Waddle's still going to catch you off guard. And I think as long as they keep that aspect and use Waddle as the power punch, they'll get a lot out of the offense. But you got to get Tua to trust what he sees, man. To me, today, Tua just looked like Rex Grossman. He looked like Rex Grossman out there. I do not trust what I see from Tua. I like what I see from a team collective uh, aspect. Um, I want to see more from Tua as far as connecting on those plays because I've seen some plays out there just from being home. And, you know, it's not easy to, to say those things when you're not in the game. You're at home. You're not seeing it. It's everything's bang, bang. I just think Tua missed a lot out there. And I think Tyreek was upset a lot because he, he has a high expectation of this team. Uh, that could, you know, put a rush on Tua's audition. I want to say this year is his audition. This year is his year to prove that he's a solid ball player or a player that the Miami Dolphins want to keep around. So I think he has to uh, speed up his, uh, as you say, curve or speed up his, uh, speed up his uh, progression and make more plays. You got Edmonds, you got Moster, you got uh, Gasecki with one catch for one yard. It's I know that uh, Mike McDaniels has to, you know, ease his way in, and Tua's going to ease his way in, too. That's why I'm not saying he's out. So I got a lot, of get, a lot of guys saying that he's just not good. I just think today he looked like Rex Grossman. Um, looked like Rex Grossman. I think Jerome Baker didn't make the plays, but he was solid. I think uh, I'm looking for Van Ginkle on defense. I haven't seen I've seen him on special teams. Um, Melvin Ingram looked amazing. Melvin Ingram looked amazing on his defense. Um we can keep those defensive front guys healthy, man. The sky's the limit for this defense with Ogba and Melvin Ingram. Man, then you got Jalen Phillips. Still got Xavier Howard. You're waiting on Byron uh, to come back, but Nick Needham was uh, productive. He was strong. Uh, he held his ground. Gave up a big play, though. 
He gave up one big play. I think he's going to get targeted a lot next week, especially in Baltimore with Lamar being angry as he is. I think uh, we're gonna he's gonna he's gonna get targeted a lot next week, so I, I think he should strap his boots on tomorrow uh, next week and be ready. But I like what I saw from uh, the defense. I really do. I like how uh, Raekwon played. I, I love how Christian Wilkins played. Christian Wilkins played like a captain today. The Dolphins got to do better, man. And Tua cannot look like Rex Grossman if they're gonna win it. You don't win the Super Bowl with Rex Grossman. You don't win the Super Bowl with Brad Johnsons anymore, unless you have Ray Lewis, unless you have Sapp and Brooks. Though you can't win a Super Bowl with Rex Grossman and Brad Johnson. That doesn't happen anymore. Especially if you don't have Ed Reed. Especially if you don't have uh uh Lynch. You don't have those. You have good secondary pieces, solid secondary pieces. Jerome Baker will probably have to turn into uh uh Derrick Brooks or somebody like that. So we don't want to put that type of pressure on us on our on our defense. They're giving us a lot, they're giving us points, they're giving us turnovers, they're giving us stops. Tua has to trust what he sees, man. We need that. I know, you know, trust doesn't come overnight, but uh, that first play from scrimmage to a little like Rex Grossman. In order for that Rex Grossman to get done what he had to get done, he had to have that defense. He had to have Devin Hester. Devin Hester put points on the board when Rex Grossman wasn't on the field. So that is a a, a real, real a valid point, guys. We need two to step up. We need him to look better. But I like what I saw. I think we were a better team. Xavier Howard proved that we are a better team, even though they have Devontae Parker. We are a better team. And he showed us that Devontae Parker really wasn't nothing to worry about. So uh, XPN still being uh, as strong and as tough and, and, and as a star as he is, uh, it makes the Dolphins uh, better than certain teams. And a lot of people got to acknowledge that. But we can't we can't talk about it. We got to gotta win the game. So like what I saw today, I want to say RIP to Christoph, man, former season ticket holder, man, from DHL. I uh, want to keep his name alive, man. Solid cat, man. Uh, these guys don't have to donate money to you or give you money and things like that for you to keep their name alive. He still got children. He still got family out here. Uh, rest in peace to that young man. And um, fans up, guys. Uh, go check out TD Fans Talk. He had a great post game. Um, I, I was on there tuned in, guys. And we just want to keep uh, keep the Dolphins uh, motivated, keep them up. And look, uh, stay logged into the channel, guys. I got a great interview coming up with uh, Sam Bruce, the late great. South Florida great Sam Bruce. I got an uh, interview with his mom. Talked about the Miami Hurricanes and uh, the production and how things are going as far as uh, his after his passing and how she's making progress. So y'all keep it locked right here on Fins Canes Verbal Warning. I'm your host, Big Verb, aka CL Verbal Warning.